you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically, Lake George, New York. And I'm joined here today by Tom. Go, and you're on Facebook, you're known as Lake George Family Truckster, correct? Correct. Yeah. All right, and you're gonna show us why you're known as the, the Lake George Family Truckster? Sure. Well, all right. It started out buying this wagon in the middle which is a 1987 Ford Country Squire. And I just bought that because I wanted a cheap old station wagon to throw things in. And uh, by golly, I came to realize I looked like the uh, car in the movie. So yeah, I threw some luggage up on top and uh, kind of doing Aunt Edna, a couple of coffee bags that I got from our local uh, coffee house. <laughs> and uh, people really liked it. So, okay. I led to the next car. I started having problems with that one, so I said, well, I better buy one for spare parts. So I found this one over in Vermont, Wally World. Oh yeah, you got the Wally World. Yeah. First one's Griswold, this one's Wally World. Okay. So uh, I went over, took a look at that, and it actually was in better shape than the first one. So I said, well, I can't use that for parts. So then I had two. And I always wanted to modify one so that it looked like like the one in the movie. Yeah. You know, custom design. So time went by and uh, I was looking on Facebook one time and I saw that somebody had a wagon that was all modified. So I sent him a message, said, hey, if you ever want to sell that, let, let me know. So, gee, a year went by. And then all of a sudden I got a message saying, hey, I think the time has come to sell it. So I said, okay, let's talk. It was during a... COVID, so I couldn't go out there and even look at it, but I went ahead, sight unseen, had it flatbedded from Des Moines, Iowa. It was pretty popular out there, and, and uh, yeah, brought it to Lake George. I said, that's the place where we should be, I think Lake George, tour town like, like Lake George is. So yeah, that was all done. We had done the customizing. Well, there we go. We've got working <laughs> headlights. You got that. Double row of headlights. Eight, eight headlights. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Very low ground clearance. Coming in my driveway anyway. I hit bottom if I come in the wrong way. There we got. And Edna up there on the top. Oh, look at that. This gentleman, he, he and another fella modified it. Uh, and they, they tried to keep pretty true to the movie with the luggage, the color of the luggage. There, got, go got a bunch of rocks in the suitcases to, to hold them down. Okay, so you just load it down. <laughs> yeah. Got uh, Aunt Edna up there. And then it's got shoes on. It's got a, uh, a pocketbook up here. Cool. Too, and then there's a pocketbook. Yeah. I don't have a garage, so I have it out in the weather all the time. <laughs> so it kind of takes a beating, but by the same token, Puts a smile on everybody's face and drives by. People love the car. That's right. So I kind of like it being out in the open. So who's all? This is this one's got uh, yeah. autographs on it. Yeah. What happened with this is uh, I, the uh, the vinyl on this wasn't in that great a shape. The uh, imitation wood and the uh, car was starting to rust and stuff. So I said, you know, I'm going to do. I started connecting with some of my old time musicians that I liked in the 60s, 70s. And, some of the venues, and I said, I'm going to start having musicians and venues start signing this thing. Because I was really enjoying the, the music. Uh, you got Harry Chapin's brother. I was a big Harry Chapin fan, Tom Chapin. Uh, and he wrote that for me, Harry Keep the Change. Vanilla Fudge, I always like. Ben Smartell there is the uh, lead guitar for that. Uh, club Helsinki is uh, in Hudson. That's, that's a good club that we have there. The Clark Griswold cereal there. Yeah. And Mini Me is actually a, oh, yeah. a cooler that takes a, a six pack of beer, end to end, uh, six cans of beer. Awesome. All right, can we can we go for a ride? Absolutely, sure. All right. You might, so yeah, All you right. like stop two after story time? It's a more relaxing one, right? I have room back here, Steve. I got plenty of room. I like to leave sunscreen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, While you're driving? 
But I'll take uh, it. Down. Okay, we're gonna take that down. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta help her. I'll probably wait the ride outside. The police frown when I drive around <laughs> yeah, with this I, up. I might too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh, look at this. Bomb. Another croc guy. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, look at that. Wagon Queen family truckster. Right there. So a long time dream of mine finally realized driving down the highway in a family truckster. All right, so now we're cruising down through downtown Lake George. See the mini golf over there. Oh yeah, that apparently is the last, the last existing Howard Johnson restaurant in America. In the world. And this is the, the fun water. It's a water slide world over there. Abandoned water park. <laughs> I, I don't know what that woman said exactly, but she said National Lampoon as we walk as we as we drove by. <laughs> so is the gas tank under the license plate? Amazing. An old A and W there. That was her right there. That's her right there. That was her? Yeah. That's Carol. She's the best. Oh, a, a, a tiki house. That looks pretty cool. They have a Polynesian show. Okay, so they do a Polynesian show there at the tiki. We have Fun Arama Fun Park. Looks like we got a little carousel over there, some bumper boats, teacup rides. to go out upon the lake. One goes all the way up and back, I think, it's like an all day one. Yep, the Mohegan, Georgia. Okay, and then we got some boats here in the harbor, some party boats. People can go out and enjoy the lake. Up to your right is the Fort William Henry. Okay, what fort is this? Fort William Henry. Fort William Henry. Which has mini ha ha. That's the most famous one, the paddle wheeler. Looks like it's out right now. Guys. This is like ice cream, the ice cream golf. stand around the world. Oh, golf. Right there. And that's a giant Native American. I don't remember the, the Native American. Looks oh. like people are swimming in the lake. Oh yeah, there's a million dollar beach over there. They call it the beach. Yeah, Jacob, we didn't play around the world golf. Uh, that looks like that almost looks like the Corn Palace in South Dakota right there. Oh, look at that! We got uh, a Paul Bunyan style muffler man back there. Beach. I guess some people can take their dogs. I don't see any dogs. Oh wait, yeah, there's a golden retriever right there. So this is a, a dog-friendly beach where people who like swimming with their dogs can take their dogs and go swimming. Oh no, those kids are those kids are engaging in horseplay right there. Big anchor right there. All right, heading down the main drag here, Lake George. You can see uh, the House of Frankenstein over there. Terrifying bear right there. He's a ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like there's a haunted house that's for rent. Dr. Morbid's 
haunted house. If anyone wants to rent that, I'll come by and go through it. Windsor Hotel, air conditioning. Air con See the wonderful uh, Goonie Golf over there. Actually, the full video of that last time I was here in uh, Lake George. It's the former Magic Forest. I've done a video there. Now called Lake George Expedition Park. And they've sold off all their fiberglass figures for some reason. You doing good? All right back there, Steven? I'm doing fine. I'm having a good time. What about you? <laughs> this is awesome. That's the Lake George mystery spot right there. People stand in the middle and, and talk or yell. And the sound, it sounds weird. I've done it before. It's just like a, makes a really weird noise. Like you hear it inside your head. It's hard to explain. Just, so just come here to Lake George, stand in the middle of that circle and, and yell to yourself. <laughs> Pulling into the A&W here. Notice that they have a DeLorean. The out of time bumper sticker. Okay. So sitting in a truckster. Checking out the DeLorean. This is an unaltered DeLorean here at the A&W uh, root beer stand. I've actually heard that the unaltered DeLoreans are actually more rare because so many have turned their DeLoreans into time machines. Oh, I don't think I even noticed this when he was first showing the car. <laughs> oh dear, it's Dinky, Dinky's leash. Oh no. We didn't, we didn't realize there was a dog strapped to the, uh, the car. Yeah, for real as you, that's part of the movie. We didn't actually, we didn't actually kill a dog. Look, check out Aunt Edna up there. Poor Aunt Edna. He's been selling the clothes about five years. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd yeah. say, yeah. So thank you for joining me today as we take a tour in the family truckster through the wonderful little town of Lake George, New York. A big thank you to Tom from Lake George Family Truckster for giving us this tour. Uh, if you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. Um, I upload a video about every other day, and if you'd like to check out some of the older videos on the channel, I've been to the 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that helps keep the trucks are on the road, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.